Okay, hello YouTubers. Um, today I'm doing a review on these digital jewelers scales. Um, I bought them because I want to go and do a bit of prospecting. Bought a metal detector a couple or well, several years ago. It sat around doing nothing. But I've got to get on to that. Um, they cost me $10.50. Um, and I thought for $10 they probably wouldn't be too good. Um, the reviews or feedback on the eBay seller pages, there was some bad ones, but there was quite a few good ones. So I thought, oh well, give them a go. Um, I did look up YouTube reviews. Uh, the only ones I found, there was a couple, um, but they didn't talk about it. They just showed pictures of it and had music playing, so didn't do any weighing or anything. Um, so that's why I thought I would do this review to put a better one out there for people. Hopefully. Um, so, alright, we'll open it up. Now I have opened them up. I just thought I'd go from the start, how they come. So, come in just a little plastic tray. There's your scales. Manual. The manual is just a pretty standard pamphlet style manual but tells you what you need to know um, comes in this little I'll say vinyl case which isn't too bad you know and it's in um, some sort of toolbox or whatever you're using when you're traveling like I would be if I go somewhere that's a bit of distance away from home. I'll take them with me, so I, if I find do happen to find anything, I can weigh it while I'm out there. Um, so that's what they look like when you pull them out. So it's a neat little package. Uh, the battery tray is here. I have taken the batteries out, checked them, make sure they weren't leaking. Um, but they had voltage in them. They're 1.5 AAA batteries. They came up 1.59 so um, I was pretty happy with that the batteries are okay so um, the lid here where it says digital scale pops off and has some of the instructions on the inside there um, most notably which it doesn't say in the paper pamphlet instructions is for the accuracy of 0.01 of a gram the minimum weight is 0.05 grams for accuracy of 1.1 gram the minimum weight is 0.5 grams so you just I guess you just got to have that bit of weight on there to really sort of let it know it's working Although I've played around with them and um, they don't seem too bad under that, which I'll show you in a second. Um, now I don't have any test weights, so um, I thought of using water because one litre of water is one kilogram. So one mil is one gram. So oh, I'll show you this. I went to the chemist, got these syringes. Um, now when I first went in there, um, that's not very focused, is it? Let's see if I can get that focused a bit better. Oh, wrong way. There we go. Um, when I first went in, I saw one hanging on a shelf, five bucks. Um, uh, one of the employees happened to be there and she told me about these ones behind the counter, 37 cents. So, and these are smaller. The other one was uh, 10 mil or something. This is only two mil, so hopefully, you know, better chance of accuracy. Get 
two mil of water. Oh, get rid of the air bubbles. Now it's a bit hard to see because they're black lines with a black head on the plunger. Okay, hopefully that's right. Um, oh, hang on. Now before I do that, I better turn it on. Okay, so you see everything there. Um, now you have your different units. It's grams at the moment, and I'll see if I can. There, yeah, there we go. Okay, so units, grams, ounces. TL, I don't know what that is, so I'll probably never need it. Carrots, um, you know, if you're out finding opals or other gemstones, whatever, you might want to use them. I don't really know anything about that, but hopefully I'll find something and have to learn. And GN, which I believe would be grains. I've heard talk of grains before, but yeah, I don't know anything about that either. Really, I'll be just worrying about grams unless something on the scene comes up. Okay, so now the lid doubles as a tray. So drop that on. Um, oh, sorry, pieces. You can count coins, um, but I won't go into that because this is this will do for this ex review. So tear that in. Now. Okay, so one mil of water should be one gram in weight. So I'll just make sure they don't turn off on me. Now these go up to 500 grams too. Now this is a bit hard to see, but hopefully... Now that's 0 0.1 of a gram by the syringe 0.1 of a gram now that's yeah I'm pretty much on the line there 0 0.1819 so they're pretty um good really Now that um pretty much I can't see any light there this time. There you go, 0 0.5. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. We'll take it up to one gram, one mil of water. Get that last drop off. 0.97. Now because it's not much, maybe a bit of a touch. A uh, tiny bit off there, but I could be tiniest bit off here too. So now there's hopefully two two mil of water in there. All right, so it's a bit under there, but I'm pretty happy with that. For ten bucks, I think that's all right. You're going to have a good idea, say you find some gold, you're going to have a pretty good idea of what it should weigh. You know, and that's only, well, it's only one, less than one twentieth out. So, you know, if you go to someone to sell them some gold and they're 10% under what your, you've weighed up, you know, you can question their scales. Alright now, yeah, the other thing I did think of after I thought of water and syringes, which I still needed to do anyway, because um, the smallest coin we have in Australia is the five cent piece. And I googled the weights and a five cent piece is 2.8 grams. That's pretty close. 
you know, even that's what they're supposed to be the coins probably aren't all going to be exactly spot on anyway two should be 5.6 there you go so that's 0.05 heavier than the other coin um, 8.4 for 3 Yeah, that's close enough for me. Four coins, 11.2 should be the measure, and 11.3. So um, I'm pretty ha happy with that myself. And just one final test. I bought a gram of gold off of eBay, so I could use to. Um, for fine tuning the metal detector, I bought this back when I bought the metal detector and I thought I should test this and see how I went 1.13 grams of gold so I'm pretty happy with that alright so there you go um, if you're looking at buying these on eBay doesn't matter which seller I wouldn't think there's plenty of them selling the same unit um, so yeah just pick one that you're happy with happy to buy one off and I would say go ahead and buy it thanks for watching